guys keep asking us, where's the rivals in Retro Rivals? You're about to find out right now. Gaming, retro, with my retro uniform on, guys, versus modern. I don't have a modern uniform. I just wore Ninja Turtles. You're not prepared. That t-shirt is retro. That's the old, that's, that's 90s just Turtles. Just don't think about it. You're asking me not to look at you in your t-shirt. Yeah. I don't know why we want to test our marriage like this, but we do. Oh, uh, we got lots of places to sleep. In the Lazy boys are pretty comfortable. Yeah, that was nice that my mom gave those to us so you could sleep on them. Obviously, I'm gonna take the stance of modern. You prefer modern gaming. I, I do. prefer retro gaming. Well, let's just start with hardware. Hardware, hardware. okay. Let's okay. just start with consoles. Okay. Favorite console? PS4, favorite console? PS1. The bad things about modern day consoles are, Price. Mm -hmm. I almost have to mortgage my house to get a damn console now for like $800 Canadian. But if you went back in the day and adjust it for inflation, those retro consoles were awful expensive too. You can't go dollar for dollar and say they were $199 really? then. $199 now is show, different. Show me the. Show me the. I will. Okay. I will. One of the most expensive consoles is a retro console. My Nintendo. Yeah. Well, live your PS4. Yeah, but there's nothing to it. I could have a kindergarten class put that console <laughs> No, you couldn't. Yes, it's That's my pins, and then just like a few things and some plastic. And it's still gonna outlive it. Might the outlive Super it. The Super Nintendo will outlive it. It might the Genesis will outlive it. Will outlive it might outlive it. I will even bet my PS1 is gonna have a longer lifespan than that PS4. Here's the thing, there was less to those consoles. So? The PS3 alone, is like a feat of wonder. It's not like they didn't even know how they put that together back in the day that it could do what it could do. I wonder where you're getting this argument. I mean, just from facts. <laughs> what about uh, storage on your machines? It's got lots of storage. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's got enough storage. Got a, I don't need a to couple of game storage. I don't need to save every game I'm going to play. You can't save a game you're going to play on a I Nintendo. Don't need to. They're not that kind of game. You don't. You don't save those games. And if you do, you save them on the cart. But how often are you replaying every Nintendo game, every Super Nin Nintendo game? How often are you replaying every PS4 game? I typically play it once, so why would I have to save the information on the machine? Right? So then that, that's like one mark against PS4 no. already. Because how many people oh. keep continually going back to retro games? They'll play that modern game once, and I'm done. But I feel like that about every game. There are modern games I would play more than once because I enjoy them, but the same goes for retro games. I don't yeah. think that's a tick in anybody's favor. Oh, <laughs> you're you're grasping. Yeah. I could play The Last of Us over and over and over again all the time and enjoy that game yeah. just as easily as I could play Super Mario 3 over and over again. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. I do. Yeah. yeah. I bet money. I don't know. You they're played not Super Mario 3 way more already then you will ever play Last of Us. Because when Super Mario 3 came out, I was a child and had more disposable time. I don't have the disposable time. <laughs> I Like, I just don't have it now. I don't care what your time. We're talking about consoles here. I know, but if you're comparing the amount of hours I put into Super <laughs> Mario 3 versus yeah. The Last of Us, it was a different time in my life. I could put that amount of hours into Super Mario 3. I can't do it with modern consoles now, but I enjoy what I'm playing. So, how about controllers? Oh. Let's go controllers. Okay. I don't want to talk about PS3 controller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't! Okay. But that N64 controller, it sucks. I don't care what any of you think. Don't like it. It's weird. It looks weird. You know what I, I, I hate can't defend about modern it. controllers? What? Every time I turn that machine on, I gotta update the controller. I gotta update a, update a controller! Why do I gotta <laughs> update a controller? Because of the haptic feedback, they're always improving upon it. Really? So you're gonna have to have updates. How much improvement have I seen over the last... At least you can update the controllers in the system. You can't do it's... that with a Nintendo. You don't need to update a controller. I know the wire sucks. It does suck. But that's probably the only argument you have. No, the modern controllers are more ergonomically shaped to your hand. Are you saying that the Super Nintendo wasn't ergonomically okay, shaped? Okay, the Super Nintendo 
is an anomaly and it is a great <laughs> controller. It is a great controller. But as much as I love Nintendo, once I hold that rectangle for too long, it's going to hurt inside here in my thumbs. Oh, your poor del delicate <laughs> modern right. hands that right. can't hold a I, square. I've been, I've been a spoiled by modern controllers. They're just too good. You know what else I hate? What? Charging those stupid controllers. But they don't have a wire, so that's the trade-off. We are replacing all our retro controllers with more yeah. modern ones that have a dongle that can hook up to them, right? For the most part. Okay. I Check. gotta give you that. Oh, yeah. don't start checking. That's the only check you got so far. That's a win. No, that's not a win. I, I could have bought a bunch of consoles for the amount of batteries I put in those friggin' controllers. No, we're charging them. I think most of them are fine. My 360, I had that for how many years? That's almost retro at this point. That's your guys' problem. So, as far as games go, I mean, we've taken a huge leap. Graphics, oh my god. Graphics, sure. I can do what a Nintendo does on a PS5. Is that your Nintendo. modern argument for games? Mine that, does. That, mine the does graphics everything. are better. Mine does everything. Yours can only do what it's capable of. So what of you doing. were telling me bit, is bit, you want to put a retro game on your modern console? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying I have options. I'm ha I have options to play anything. <laughs> you only have that little thing. If it's a 16-bit okay. okay. console, that's all you have. Let's let's put that to the test. Yeah. Put Mike Tyson's punch out on a modern console. But it wasn't built for a modern console. I'm saying we can make pixelated games not that work mimic. right. No, 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 because right. no, no, there's input lag. <laughs> no. You can't beat Tyson there on a modern console. It just there's too much delay. It wasn't. There. Yeah, but you're talking about emulation at this point. You're talking about taking a Nintendo game and putting it. That's on what you're talking about. No, yes. I'm talking about Signalis is a new game that's a pixel graphic okay. game. Minecraft, anything like okay, that. Okay, so your modern games are trying to replicate retro games because they want people like us to continue to support the product and nostalgia is built into everything we want to do gaming wise so you have nostalgia for her? no i'm just saying <laughs> I, I do have nostalgia but it you want to offer everything to <laughs> everyone so a modern console can do that i'm not going to be able to put i don't know pick a game off the the modern wall over there you can't put it on a nintendo you can't you can't uh -uh. put it on a that i can replicate games like that on a modern console you can do any game play like in, nintendo's not the delorean it's not gonna go back <laughs> to the future there and give me a ps5 that's they're, that's they're designing them to run ps5 <laughs> games what are you talking about but they're developing games for every taste i know on a modern system and it has something there where you're saying they're creating modern games to make them look like retro games yes so everybody has everything they want in one tidy package instead of being able to have a bunch of different machines this one can do that one thing and it plays all the games you could ever want you sound like microsoft right now some of the greatest games ever are retro yeah and modern I, we could do this dance all day and yeah. I don't think you're gonna win. There wasn't as many games back then. There was less competition. Okay. Of course those are going to be more coveted, more nostalgic when you don't have as much to compare it to. Now you get a new game that comes out yeah. and then two weeks later there's another new game that comes out. So you're basically <clears throat> helping my point here is that How? modern games they are just a dime a dozen they go up on YouTube, everybody hypes them all up because they're paid to hype them up. And then within two weeks, nobody ever talks about them. And yet, you can put, type in Proto Trigger and just see the amount, the abundance of how... videos and people that love it. And, and they'll, and you'll, name me a modern game you just play here and I ask them in 20 years. Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man? Yeah. I don't think that's going to age 20 years and people are going to blow their mind there because there will be another Spider-Man. Name me a modern game that rivals the story, the music of Skies of Arcadia. I did earlier in the video, The Last of Us. Oh, no. Okay. No. Music is... Art-wise, not even remotely close. Art-wise? Skies of Arcadia, the art in that game... Like blows Last of Us out of the I water. I don't even know. Last of now. Us has a good 
A great story. A great story. Don't say good. Great story. So does Skies of Arcadia? Yes, I agree. You know it's okay. my favorite RPG. I'm still saying the art. It's just the music. The art is different. They did what, what they could back then. And the graphics are the graphics now. <laughs> but the art of Stop the story... Stop falling on that crutch of graphics. Graphics! I'm, gra <laughs> I'm talking, talking about graphics. Graphics. All of the graphics. Hey, but you're talking about art. I'm talking, yes, I didn't say anything about graphics, I'm saying the art. Okay, the but art. when you say art, are you talking about the visuals? Because the visuals are graphics. I will agree that it was more of an orchestra-type music in those games, yeah. but they put sound effects and you background know what's crazy? noises. We literally just did Her Skies of Arcadia review. No, you can't! We literally just you did that. You can't and hold that against me. raved about it. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Like but the there's art. so many modern games that are a 10 out of 10, too. <laughs> But yeah. they have more going for them now that they can we, use that you couldn't use back then. We you had to use say, what you had. We always say. I, I'm going to hate this. <laughs> <laughs> what do we always we say? We always say older consoles lack the graphics, but they always had better story, music, atmosphere. Because they had to. That's not saying stories now aren't great. So what you're saying is all you have is graphics. Stop trying to give me back my graphics crunch. Well, that's, you're just leaning on it. You're only going to give you two of you them now. You just literally said that The Last of Us has an amazing story. It does. Okay, well, that's art in and of itself. Okay. Being able to create that world. But How many people, like, graphically, that... Oh, no. Graphically, it doesn't stand out. Sarah. Any, you know, graphically, when crazy. it, on the PS3, that made that console. A lot of these retro games... It's like, it's the gold age of gaming. And it was also the garbage age of gaming. H how much How much do you love six N64? Or do you like any of the graphics oh, on that console? I don't, no. Are you gonna, like, how are you even bring that up in an argument? Because I don't even play N64. I know, but you would completely wash that, wipe that off the face of the earth because you don't like the graphics and you don't like the console. I would never do that to any of the modern consoles. They're all good. I don't need to wipe one off. I don't need to get rid of one because of the graphics, because oh, graphics, of graphics, the graphics. But I mean, that's what we're comparing right now. Graphics. I'll look at the graphics. <laughs> I hear the same arguments from all you guys all the time. Graphics. Wireless controller. Load times. Oh my god. The load, load times. Time. Oh, the load times. Oh, shut up. I you, have things ten, to do. Ten seconds is too long. Ten seconds. Ten seconds is too long. I wish it was ten seconds. Come I have on. time to send a tweet, check my no, bank account. sit here and exaggerate that bullshit there. It's the low times are intense. Bullshit. And then I have to read my story. Now I get it fed to me like with voice actors. Like a actors. moron. I can't wait <laughs> ten seconds. I don't like to read. Can you I, make the game easier so everybody can beat it? Can we not did. have difficulty? Can we just have, I'll call it a story mode? Yeah, that would be good. Thanks. Well, you guys had to rely on difficulty because your games were so short, so we had to make them impossible to beat, <laughs> so you play it over and over no, and Jen, over again. It's impossible for some people. No! <laughs> yes. But that's what you guys had going on back then. Oh, it was just like super impossible games because nobody could afford to get another game because games were more expensive They're back not then. super impossible games. games. There are some that are way harder there than There are, but games were more expensive back then, dollar for dollar. When you compare inflation from then to now, games were more expensive back then. Yeah, but if you're going to go, you said for time. Yes. And time is your money. Yeah. So no. I can get one game that lasts me six months. I get me one game now that lasts me six hours. It artificially lasts you six months because the games were so damn impossible. And we kept playing them because they're so good. You know I, I love retro games too. I enjoy my modern games. You do enjoy your modern games. But if I had to get rid of one or the other, I'm getting rid of retro games. There's a whole entire future ahead of us of uh, modern games. There's... I look at modern games, especially the future, and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for physical. And I will physical, agree that that's something that I don't anything. enjoy. You're going to basically have a streaming service of games. It just it, it takes away from it. Like, nobody's going to be talking about 99% of these games coming out this year. I've seen so many big games come out recently that within two weeks, you'll never hear of them again. 
and it's sad. It is because sad. they are that damn good. But modern games are like chips. You just yeah. Uh, give me my next one. Uh, uh, <laughs> num num num. Ah, uh, next one. Num num num. You're like Pac-Man <laughs> eating freaking chips there here. Was, there was no. There was barely any chips back then. There was a couple <laughs> bags of chips. And I you know, but it, when you, had to when wait you on... finished it, oh my god. <laughs> Those were your favorite chips. Uh, yeah, there was the best chip ever. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to give you one thing that I think modern games are suffering from right now yeah. is woke culture. Oh. And I do enjoy going back to a retro game and seeing things that Seems that line has back. moved now and you can't say <laughs> that now. That bothers me and I yeah. will say retro is, that it would be one of the reasons I would continue to play retro because I don't want to deal with the woke culture nonsense. Yeah. I would rather go back to a time where we didn't get offended by everything. Have we come to any sort of agreement on which is better? Oh, I still have my <laughs> opinions. You have your opinions. More importantly... When we divorce after this video, I'm going to take all the retro with me. You can keep your modern colors. I'll take the modern ones. Goodbye, Sea of Stars. You just got it. We want to know what you think about this. Would you like to see us test our marriage some more? Who do you think won this argument? And where do you stand? We're drawing a line in the sand. Apparently so. If you guys have anything else you'd like us to cover, we have some ideas for some future videos. But if there's anything you'd like us to fight about, let us know in the comment section. I can't believe she wore a retro t-shirt to this <laughs> argument and her, her modern modern games. Man, the modern games are so much better. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are forever. And on that note, until next time, game on!